Good day sir, good day classmate. I'm in Jim Wan Studio Charles Saron and I'm from NS1A4 and me and my fellow classmate cadets are reporting about power driven vessel underway, vessel restricted in ability to maneuver, vessel sailing, vessel engaged in fishing, vessel not under command. So I am reporting about power driven vessel underway. Um, illustrate the two vessel in navigation along the correct side of the narrow channel for overtaking situation. So, the power driven vessel approaching each other overtaking when two power driven vessels are, are approaching each other, the overtaking vessel, vessel A, is the giveaway vessel, while vessel B is the stand on vessel. As the giveaway, vessel, B, vessel A must take an early and substantial action to keep clear of the stand on vessel B. If both vessels are power driven, sound signals are also required. Vessel A must blow one one short blast and alter its course to starboard or blow two short blasts and alter to course to port vessel b must then return the same sound signal or signals to indicate understanding similarly sailing vessels stand on when being overtaken and give way when overtaking thank you that's all Hello sir, good day. I am Shipman de Guzman RC NS184. Our topic for today is uh, state the first action to take before the execute uh, maneuvering action to overtake. Uh, rules of the road, uh, collision and regulation, uh, are which vessels in the stand on vessels, which vessels is the giveaway vessels, uh, they every Pressure boat operation must uh, who must give way to another vessels, and that means the operation who the move must take early and substantial action to avoid the collision. The stand on vessel must maintain course and speed, and the green uh, danger uh, danger giveaway zone uh, these are the green sector under your boat uh, that sector defined by your green satellite uh, in your danger zone or your giveaway zone uh, this uh, this extend from the certain line uh, certain line on your bow uh, dead ahead uh, to 25 uh, 22 5 uh, degrees and above the uh, starboard beam or 112 5 uh, degrees from the bow along your starboard side when another skipper uh, sees your green light he has the right of way uh, green for go when you have a boat uh, in your green sector you must take early and substantial action to avoid collision uh, that's all at the assumption of the later receivers must be aware that overtaking carries significant risks. Overtaking situation frequency necessitate be a vessel being the close from extreme to one another for extended period of time. Increase the risk of collision if one of the vessel fails to recognize a change in course or speed as well as potentially limiting both vessel maneuverability. Which, uh, which may be required as the crossing or head or on traffic encounter it. Uh, furthermore, one of the most delicate figures of the overtaking position is the starboard quarter approach. Good morning, sir. Good morning, miss. This is Michi Puman de la Peña, um, illustrating the direction of the vessel to be 
overtaking to conduct parallel uh, courses until the vessel to be overtaking is finally passed and clear. So it is under rule number 13 overtaking letter B. A vessel shall, um, shall be deemed to be overtaking when coming up with another vessel from a direction more than 22.5 degrees above her beam. That is in such a position with reference of the vessel she is overtaking. Um, that at night she would be able to see only the stern light of the vessel but neither of her side lights so here's some of examples so um, when it's overtaking at night we can only see the stern light and that is 22 degree for both sides so 22.5 degree for both sides we can only see the stern light so um i'll show you my illustration so here's my illustration so that is our vessel the overtaking so um we can see the stern light for 22 degrees so we will be overtaking um we will be adjusted and overtaking until we go back to the course line hello sir and hello classmate uh, i'm michi manjason partosa and i'm ns1 a4 I illustrate on how to return on the original sideline of the channel to continue navigating in a narrow channel. When navigating in a narrow channel, the system of water flow and water pressure will be considerable increase. The ship will thus push water ahead of her and the surface of the water will raise noticeable uh, several ship lengths ahead of the ship. Along the ship side, water will flow back with higher velocity than uh, in open water of the same depth and above of the ship. Water will be pulled along in the direction of, uh, of the ship is sailing. If the ship sails uh, in the center line of the channel and if the channel is symmetrical about her she will not be exposed to a turning effect from the channel as the water pressure on the ship's side is symmetrical. However, if the, if the gets close to one side of the channel, to the starboard side of the channel, then the caution effect will cause the ship to turn away from the channel bank and at the same time is shock in towards it that's all sir thank you